Welcome, one, welcome all to my new show on the BBC Two. Mm, BBC One, now BBC Two. See, it's one higher. It's a promotion. It is. <laughs> they tell me if I keep going like this, soon it'll be BBC Three. Seriously. <laughs> Oh, BBC Four, I dream of it. <laughs> now, um, so uh, this is it. Now, uh, if, you, if you're, you're thinking, oh, no, and I'm missing the news on BBC One, not to worry, I will be covering most of the main stories, people that are, you know, the stories that people are really talking about. For instance... <laughs> Britney, Britney, Britney. <laughs> oh, no, it's sort of sad now, isn't it? Honest to God, shaving her head. Apparently she's back in rehab now. Well, I say back in rehab. At the time of speaking, she's in rehab. I don't know where she actually is. I doubt she does. But uh, <laughs> what's so shocking about it is that now, now, who knew we'd ever get to the situation where Kevin Federline would look like the responsible parent <laughs> in that relationship? Those kids are as good as his. And, of course, the question everyone's asking about Britney shaving her head is, why? Why, Britney? Why have you shaved your head? Well, presumably it's so it matches her lovely vagina. <laughs> Here she... Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 dear. You can imagine the cab driver. Got anything smaller, Britney? <laughs> Born. Uh, <laughs> see, uh, apparently, uh, that picture, that picture is that it was taken uh, on, a, on a night out with Paris Hilton. Uh, Paris Hilton, coincidentally, wasn't wearing any knickers either. Uh, apparently, she can't because knickers would be blocking access to a public area. <laughs> Some comment. Now, here's Brittany halfway through. Halfway through. Now, <laughs> it's hard getting round the back when you're doing it yourself. Now, uh, and you do think, who did she want to look like? Who, 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 who? <laughs> it's a Klingon. <laughs> like her ex husband, Kevin. Now, uh, the thing is, it's not just about. I, 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 I feel sorry for her. I do feel sorry for her, because the thing about celebrities is they don't have, like, they don't have people to tell them no. Do you know what I mean? Every, they're a celebrity, so they just indulge, 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 so suddenly you're shaving your own head and going into rehab. Like, if she was a normal person with actual friends, over the last month, surely by now, someone would be going, Brittany, going out, pants, uh, you remembered your pants? And, and it's not just here, it's not just here, or in America, rather, it's here as well. British stars, you know, Amy Winehouse, doesn't she have friends to go, Amy, Amy, you've got a dead pet on your head. <laughs> I know you loved whiskers, but time to let it go. <laughs> it's bizarre. And, uh, and the weird thing is, the weird thing is, I, I don't blame the celebrities. I blame the other people for, let, for just feeding and feeding and letting it go on and on and on. Like, uh, Mariah Carey, right, you know there's all those famous stories about Mariah Carey wanting a, a, a thing of puppies in her dressing room and stuff. And why wouldn't you? If somebody said, would you like some puppies in your dressing room? You go, well, yes, that'd be nice, I'll play with them. They're there. And I interviewed, I interviewed Mariah Carey a few years ago, and there was this weird thing, right, so you're chatting to Mariah Carey, everything's normal, it's fine, she's actually very sweet, very lovely woman. I'd chat away, and she suddenly goes... <laughs> and you're like, what's that? Is it another mental breakdown? What's going on? <laughs> what that is, that is Mariah sitting there, and when she does that, that is a cue for all these people to come running in with little cups of juice and Coca-Cola and water, right? No, seriously, a load of them. They've all got a bendy straw coming out of them, right? So she's there, not moving. All right. They all come running in. Here we are, all right. And then she just leans over, selects one, and then just goes... <laughs> like a fucking celebrity gerbil! <laughs> and you can't blame her, cos where are her friends? She should have friends going, Mariah, pick the fucking cup up! <laughs> you lazy, fat-ass bitch! While you're at it, 
stop singing. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bring on my guest. There's a sex bomb in the city, and she's gonna blow. It's Kim Cattrall! <laughs> and your first show of the season. I know. Yeah, new great. show, new format. Ah, oh, new set. It's clean. You're getting the sofa clean. Mm. <laughs> very nice. No, it is very nice. Now, just quickly, going back to the whole, whole Britney thing, you were in Crossroads with her. Yes, I was. I played her mom. All right. Now, she had a uh, full head of hair then, though. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are in Crossroads. Oh, no, I don't know. That, no. that, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Here you are in Crossroads. Oh, there you oh, are. Oh, there we are. There yes. you are. Mommy dearest. And even at that time, I mean, the, the, the storm around her must have been huge. Oh, it was. Everything was documented. It was like sort of the Madonna, you know, stage that she went through. Everywhere we looked, there were cameras. Wow. Interviews between... <laughs> cameras, you say. <laughs> Elijah seems impressed. Cameras. <laughs> I mean, not just filming the action, but filming behind the scenes and conversations. And how did you think that went? Well, I, I just did it. I mean, I don't really That's know so how bizarre. it was. And you, yes. Elijah, you haven't been in exactly the same situation, but, you know, you were a child star. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that's what sent her loopy-loo? I mean, you seem quite sane. <laughs> <laughs> I think... I say quite. It's so bizarre <laughs> what, how, how one can go and the other can't, you know, in the mm -hmm. same situation. I think, to be honest, from my experience, a lot of it comes from your family background. Mm. I had a really good mother and a, a normal, a sense of normalcy outside of what I did as an actor. So I never really got embroiled in the whole mess of it, you know? Can I just check? Because obviously it's a lady you thing. You mean a re reality check? No, well, yeah. sort of. Yes. <laughs> the no knickers thing. <laughs> is that, is that common? I mean, clearly it's very common, but is it, <laughs> is it normal? Is it normal for women to do that? Well, it's a proven fact, you know, if you, if you don't wear underwear, it's, you know, it's more ventilation, and that's maybe healthier for your vagina. <laughs> that's okay. Yes. Absolutely. Ventilation. 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 <laughs> oh, it's like a chimney flu. It's Which marvelous. Is, yeah. <laughs> just... oh. Talking of celebrities uh, behaving badly, uh, Rafe Fiennes... Not Ralph Fiennes. Rafe Fiennes <laughs> has had uh, quite, well, quite an experience recently uh, caught having sex on an airplane with a stewardess. Now, here's Rafe. I can see why he's smiling. <laughs> mm, that's service. It was a good flight. <laughs> yeah, really, it was. The time flew. Uh, he apparently had sex with air hostess Lisa Robertson in uh, three places. Uh, on the plane, in a hotel room, and up the arse. <laughs> One, three two, three. <laughs> uh, now, they had sex in the cabin toilet. And apparently it was quite a frenzied sex session. Afterwards, she had to point out to him, your spunk is located here, here, and oh, here. Perfectly. Maybe we can't. <laughs> apparently the encounter happened when halfway through the flight, Lisa pulled back the curtains into the first-class area. <laughs> I've never heard a call that before. <laughs> but I'm guessing it was well-ventilated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, it, that, I think what, what's odd about that is that, presumably, she doesn't provide that service for everyone. Do you know what I mean? I, 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 this may be an indelicate thing, so I, I, if you don't want to talk about it. But now... Elijah, do, do you find... <laughs> no, just because, because you were in such an iconic film, is there a thing where people just want to say, I shagged Frodo? <laughs> Hobbit. Hobbit sex. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you say Hobbit sex? Hobbit sex, really? yeah. Hobbit sex? Yeah, they're earthly folk. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I, in the show? I don't know. I've not really had that experience. I've not, I don't feel like I've been approached by people that I would question why. So you, people haven't whispered well, in your ear, oh, Mr. I'm... Frodo, it's so long. <laughs> People, I, I certainly have met people like that. They tend to be a little bit older. Than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> What's going on backstage? <laughs> and similarly, well, not yeah. similarly, I suppose, uh, differently, because of playing Samantha, people must just, do they just assume they can sleep with you? I think they, they think that they already have, actually. <laughs> 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 but no, seriously, do you, I mean... I no, I'm serious. No, I'm <laughs> Because they feel that, you know, because the series was about sexuality mm. and uh, in many different situations and locations. <laughs> yes, locations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With some ventilation, yes. <laughs> Um, that they feel that, you know, that's something that they can picture in their mind. But during most of the series, I was married. And uh, the last season, um, I, I wasn't. And it was quite terrifying out there because men were, were actually frightened of me because they felt that I was just this, you know, carnivore and they wouldn't stand a chance. Wow. Yeah, it was quite a and, and lonely I, I, I read somewhere that women are sort of really inappropriate in the things they just come up and tell you about their partners and their own sex lives. Y yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was shopping once and this man came up to me at the fish counter. <laughs> and uh, he said... <laughs> it's the atmosphere. It's all your fault. Don't blame me. And he said to me, he says, I really have to thank you. And I thought, oh, why? He was quite attractive and he had a younger a girl with him, obviously his daughter. He said, because without you and this show, I wouldn't have been able to really talk about oral sex and the dangers of that with my daughter. I said, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, so it can be a little tricky, but at the same time, maybe that is a conversation that needs to happen mm. between parent and child. Not just from a mother's point of view, but from a father's point of view. And probably not between them and you, though. No. <laughs> no. no. That no. conversation need never no. happen. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> and the other thing, uh, famously, you guys all got tattoos uh, during Lord of the Rings. We got what? Oh, yeah, tattoos, tattoos yes. Tattoos. And, now, people ask to see your tattoo, mm. apparently, all the time. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to. That's okay. But, uh, but... I might. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll look away. <laughs> um, yeah, right. But... <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where it is. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> but do you, are you sometimes suspicious that people don't really want to see the tattoo? Well, there is something kind of salacious about where it is if you wanted it to be that way. So, yeah, I guess so. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, again, you must be... But it is, I have to say, um, you know, never far from my side, Heat magazine out today, <laughs> and it's big thing that the Sex and the City movie is going to happen, that you finally... Kim Charles finally said yes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I wasn't encouraging you, I was just mirroring those two people. Going, Ooh. Well, it's nice to be missed. Um, I, I have no idea what this is about. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's something that's been rumored, and uh, it's, it, there were talks of it, but nothing, nothing has happened. Um, I think it's just kind of being ventilated right now. So. Well. <laughs> You know, that's the problem, isn't it? Well, it's episodic. Exactly. And I, and I sort of felt that everything was kind of resolved. And there, I'd mm. slept with everyone that was on the show. <laughs> <laughs> the black guy was so young. I mean, it would go even younger. And, and then it really... I remember was... him. Oh, he was... Yes, anyway. <laughs> we'll make a film. Why don't I just set the two of you up with your own film? <laughs> 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 now, uh, I do uh, just want to tell you all about our new website, new show, new website, and uh, here it is. Oh, there it is. And, uh, oh, I can't tell you. It's so handsome. interactive and airbrushed. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> good things. Both I do look things. good there, don't I? Yes. But, uh, no, it's, it's very interactive. You can join in with lots of various things, uh, things like, what are you up to? 
And the idea about this is uh, we record the show on a Wednesday at 7 o'clock. So you can either let us know what you're doing on a Wednesday at 7 o'clock, and we'll be interested or not, um, or you can tell us what you'll be doing next Wednesday at 7 o'clock, and you never know, if you invite us along, we might just show up. Uh, now, uh, by the way, this is cute. We've got someone, somebody did send in a picture of what they're doing tonight mm. because they knew you were on the show. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he shirtless? I don't know. Don't ask. And don't boxes. ask. I know. Don't I, ask. It, his name is Neil. He's from Winchester. But he is comfortable at home. It shows... He is. He's very relaxed. He's very relaxed. Very relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> and, and perhaps it's a bit like Britney. There's no one to tell him, no, you really put a shirt on. <laughs> He's never left the house. He doesn't know that people wear clothes. Uh, <laughs> We had an email from a viewer called uh, Alice Hansen, who told us her best friend, Emily Farley, she's going speed dating tonight. I've never been to a speed dating event. So, uh, anyway, it's at a pub in South London, so we thought we'd go in and we'd have a peek. Okay, so we can go over there now, I believe. Okay. It's okay. so bizarre. This, apparently, although it's called speed dating, it takes quite a long time. So let's zoom in. Let's, let's zoom in, okay, to Emily. And, through the magic of television, I can now talk to her. Hello, Emily. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hi, Emily. Listen, your friend, Alice Han It's Graham Norton here, by the way. <laughs> I'm not trying to pick you up. Uh, <laughs> Hanson. She's a friend of yours, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, that's All right, right, she yeah. told me you're going to be here. So we just go on to, the, to sit in on your speed dating. Can you shove out of the way? And I'm going to sit in, and I'm, just, I, I'm going to just whiz through some of these guys who will find something you like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Justin, where are you from? I'm from Hackney. <laughs> Hi, James. Hello, Graham. How you doing? All right. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I'm a veterinary technician. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How long have you been single? Uh, I've been single probably about six months. Oh. Are we liking him? Oh, give him a shot. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Andy. Hi, Andy. Where do you live? Ealing. Ealing. Ooh, Ealing. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, what would you ask him, Kim, if you were there? Does he like older women? <laughs> Andy, do you like older women? That's how I talking. All right, well, let's not go there. Uh, <laughs> I'm bearing you in mind, but for the moment... <laughs> I'm running out of time. I'm only giving myself a minute for this. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't say I love you, Rupert. <laughs> I thought Andy was the best of a bad lot. Yeah. 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 Andy. All right. <laughs> Emily, can we get Andy back? Yes. Oh. Hello. Oh. Emily, 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 T Emily. Mm -hmm. Let's see you. D do you like Andy? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kiss. Give him a kiss. Go on. Go on. Delight us. No, a proper kiss. Go on. Give him a proper kiss. Go on. Go on. Andy, you're a man. Go. Ooh. Oh. 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 Right there. <laughs> that was a man taking an opportunity when it's given him. That is that's called that green light. <laughs> oh my god. That is classic. classic. Oh my god. Oh, the 
sexually embarrassed with it all, okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need a drink after all. <laughs> now, uh, we move on now to controversial theatre news. Because uh, you, you're uh, uh, done the West End now. Is it twice you've done the West End or three times? Twice. 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 And uh, Elijah, do you, have you done the plays? I've not, no. Do you want oh. to? I would love to, yeah. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd love to. It's, it's something I'd never done. It's, it scares the shit out of me, but it's something I'd love to do. It's, it's wonderful. It really is, because it's, it's no, long about, no longer about technical concerns. It's just, it's just about the actors. As soon as the curtain goes up, it's all yours. And being in that moment... Oh, and the audience, as we were talking about, is different every single night. Mm. As, as you as, know. Not as different as that. <laughs> Yeah. Don't charge for the theatre, you get that. It's not so good then. Uh, hey, listen, controversial theatre news. Controversial theatre news. Yes, yes. Because Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe is starring in the West End in the play Equus. It's his first major stage role. Uh, here he's on stage. Now, I would say not a great start. He has forgotten his costume. <laughs> And where are the friends telling them, put your clothes on? <laughs> Daniel strips naked and has sex with actress Joanne Christie and confesses to having mutilated six horses. Horrible sex with a woman. Now, and obviously, <laughs> do it your play. You don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> no, I did do it. It was all right. Okay. Now, and obviously... Who uh, was she? A few, actually. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, I was a whore. Now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, during the play, uh, they can't use a real horse on stage, but because it's sort of theatrical, they've come up with this clever alternative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a pretty chart. What's that, Dobbin? Mmm, I poked out with a spike. Now, uh, I have to say, I do think he's done a really brave thing, mm. and everyone must be really relieved that. It's worked, you know. Yeah. I mean, he hasn't opened yet, but the people the have been buzz, previews, yeah, and the yeah, buzz yeah, is yeah, that yeah. he's really, he's, he's excellent. Yeah. In yeah. It. Now, he, I think you two are kind of uniquely qualified to talk about it in a way because he was Harry Potter, you know, a mm. really kind of iconic, very defining character, and he's trying to kind of leave that behind. Do you, after Lord of the Rings, did you deliberately take? Well, I mean, I guess you couldn't take similar roles. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, it's another hairy-footed person. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Oh, uh, he's yeah. three foot again. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I definitely looked for things that were challenging and different, um, darker perhaps. Um, but I think I felt that way before, too. I agree with you in that I was always looking for new challenges and, mm. and roles that would challenge me and, and allow me to grow as an actor. And I think after Lord of the Rings, that was sort of amplified.